Congratulations on the result. Uh, I know you've had some, some frustrations along the way to get here, but now to notch this, this UFC win, what's, what's the feeling like? Uh, I don't think it's set in yet a little bit. I mean, I have, uh, it's kind of just like a, a relief, you know, finally, like all the years. And I mean, this is my 51st fight all together with my amateur career. You know, I've had my ups and downs, like I've said before, and it's just a sense of relief and, and knowing that things I've done and the changes I've made is, has paid off. As long as you put into this, you know, you kept getting close and coming up short. Was there any part where you start having like self-doubt or concern? Like, am I meant for this? Man, uh, truthfully, after the after the contender series loss against Herbert, uh, I got I picked up two wins after that. But I really, I didn't didn't know what I was going to do. You know, this is all I know. It's all I know, and uh, I just stuck to the grind. You know, um, and picked up a couple wins, and then. Uh, yeah, after that, I was like, man, I don't know my body, you know, all that stuff. Like, do what do I do? Like, am I at the right camp? Like, there's nobody, here. you know, just you keep second guessing yourself. And uh, I'm so glad that I have the few few guys in my corner and the few guys in my ear all the time. My manager trained one of my training partners, Dakota, um, and just kept telling me, you know, how how good I actually am and how much we're gonna we're gonna make it in this sport. And uh, you know what? It pays off. You know, and we got the short notice call against. Uh, at Grant Grant Dawson on eight days notice, and you know that kind of just made it a relief. But you know, you pick up, a, you take a loss like that, even though on short notice, you just don't know what's next, you know. And and now I'm sitting there training with the guys. James Krause is leading the way, and we're just gonna we're gonna keep moving forward. So you come into this fight, and all the attention's on this kid, right? I mean, you're the big underdog, and this guy's the next big thing. Um, what was your thoughts? I mean, did you, did, I mean, did you have that kind of respect for him, or were you a little frustrated, saying, what what, what are they seeing? Man, I just think it's funny, you know. They, and and that's and that's just the way the game is. You you always doubt the vet. You always doubt the guys that are coming in. You always think these newcomers who are at twelve and three, eight and one that are like I have thirty five professional fights. I don't care how many times I. The reason I've been submitted is because I never had a coach to slow my game down. I never had a guy like James Crossan in my corner with the IQ that I have. And now it's just going to be, it's the. It's just crazy, man. Like the, I just, I didn't feel dis, I felt a little disrespected because like, I'm a plus 260. You're out here ever living mine. I hope a lot of people cash on that first round submission. Like I know I seen on Twitter that everybody was betting that, and I hope all you doubters lost your ass. You said it's funny because you said you, <laughs> yeah, well done, well said. You said uh, you're kind of slowing the game down a little bit, but you got the, the the fight done so quick. I mean, did you see that as a possibility? Man, I, that, that was me slowed down, kind of. You know, like, I, I saw everything that was coming at me, and I knew that, like, my usually I would have probably jumped on it sooner, but I wanted to make sure I had it completely. And that, that's just my game, man. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fast starter, and I like to finish fights, but the fight IQ is just growing now. Like, I, I think that was the thing that was kind of holding me back a little bit, but now, now we're up on the rise, and we're going. We're moving forward. Very nice. And last thing for me, now you got this moment under your belt. I'm sure you want to enjoy it a little bit, let it soak in, but... What's next? I mean, do you do you see a name? Do you see a date? What's what's the plan for you? Man, I don't think I'm gonna call anybody out. I just say, I mean, whenever you need me, call me. I'm that guy. Like I'll be that guy today, tomorrow. You need a guy in two weeks. You need a guy in three weeks. Or when you get back from Abu Dhabi, I'll be here. I'll be training and I'll be getting better and uh, I'll keep making this money. Uh, one quick one. If, if you get the bonus, what would you do with it? Man, uh, <laughs> that's the thing. This the, that bonus would just do wonders for my life. You know, I have a new baby girl at home. I have a, a four-year-old stepdaughter, and, you know, and a girl at home that you know we're just now building our life together. And so it would just help me be able to like pay off some debt and buy a house. You know, you don't you don't get this far in the sport by not accruing a little bit of debt. You know, when you when you've been fighting on the local circuit. You know, so hopefully Dana sees that and he he acknowledges what I put in and realizes that you know, that I'm here to stay and that I could use that 50 G's.